multiplication and division. We're going to look at the relationships and the idea behind uh, especially division. This is lesson one. So first we'll take a look at fact family. So here's a simple one. 2 times 5 equals 10. That's two groups. One group. Two groups. And there are five in each group. That gives us a total of 10 little green things. But if we select those, clone it, bring it down. So here's our two groups of five still. I'm going to clone all of them while I'm here. I'm going to need them again over here. So now we're going to change it to five groups with two in each group. And we still use the same 10, so it's still 10, but it's going to look different from up above. So we need five groups. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now we have five groups and two in each group. So there, those are the two multiplication problems for our fact family. Now we're going to look at division. So we still have our 10. So we still have our 10 total. Now we're going to put two in each group, two in that group, two in this group, two in that group, two in that group, two in that group. So now we have 10, two in each group, and how many groups do we have then? Five groups. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. That's one way that it could look. With division, there's two different ways of doing it, and it really matters when you're doing like a word problem. So we can also have our 10 total, but now we could make two groups. One, two, three, four, one for you, here's one group, one for you, one for you, one for you. This is division now. And we keep splitting them up into two groups until we have an even number. And there are, so we have two groups. And we have five in each group. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So that's the same 10 divided by 2 equals 5, but it can look two different ways. And if you notice, five groups of two, five groups of two, the pictures look the same. Two groups of five, two groups of five. We could also start with our same 10, and we can put, for our fact family, we need the two divisions, so now we need five groups, one, two, three, four, five. I can put another one over in this group, another one here, another one here, another one here, and another one here. So now I have ten group, ten total divided by five groups. And my answer is that there are two in each group. And if you notice, this picture again looks the same as that, five groups of two. And then the last example, we're going to still do that same division problem, but now we're going to change it to ten total, five in each group equals two groups. So we need five in each group. 
One, two. five in each group, two groups, and it, again it looks like this one. Five in each group, two groups, two groups of five. Okay, so we know that multiplication is related to addition. Multiplication is repeated addition, and that means adding the same thing over and over again. So for example, six groups of three, six times three, six groups of three, or three in each group, means three plus three plus three plus three plus three, plus three, six times. Three plus three is six, plus three is nine, plus three is twelve, plus three is fifteen, plus three is eighteen. <clears throat> That's repeated addition. Adding the same thing over and over again. So division, since multiplication and division are related, division is repeated subtraction. Division, repeated subtraction, or subtracting over and over again. The same thing, repeatedly. So if we start with 18, and we take away 3, that's 15, and we take away 3, that's 15, not 15, that's 12. And take away 3, that's 9. And take away 3, that's 6. And take away 3, that's 3. And take away 3, that leaves us with 0. So how many minus 3's did we do? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so this would be the division problem. 18 divided by 3 equals 6. We had 18 total. We divided it by 3 in each group, because each group of 3 that we took out. So we took out 3 in each group. And how many groups of 3 did we take out? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Divisions related to multiplication. So here's multiplication. We looked at this already a little bit with the fact family. So right here we have how many groups? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six groups. How many are in each group? One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. One, two, three. Three in each group equals a total of 18. Six times three equals 18. <clears throat> so with division, we start with our 18 total. And we're going to divide it into six groups. So that's one for you, 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 one for me. We still have more up here that we can give out, so we give each group another one. We have more. Give them each another one. So we made six groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, and there are three in each group. <clears throat> That's 
one way of looking at it. Another way of looking at it is to take all of our 18 again. But this time, and we'll do the same problem, 18 divided by 6 equals 3. But this time, we'll do 18 total divided 6 in each group. And what do you think the answer will be? How many groups? 6 in each group. So we say, OK, maybe we're uh, making teams, and we need a team of 6. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many groups of six did we make? Three. So 18 divided by six equals three. But depending on group, then our answer is going to be different. It's going to mean something different. So in real life, when you're talking about sharing things or making teams, it actually makes a difference with the words. But the division problem is still the same. So for a quick review, division and multiplication are related. Division is the opposite of multiplication. Multiplication is repeated addition, and division is repeated subtraction.